you need to understand the EU DMA, the Digital Market Act, basically is focused in on six companies that are viewed as quote unquote gatekeepers. Those are Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, which we know is Google's uh, mother company. It also is Meta, which obviously owns uh, Facebook and I'm trying to think uh, what's the um, message. And so, yep. And, yeah. and then we have ByteDance, which is probably the least known out there. And Microsoft kind of rounds up that list. So the view is these guys are so big that they're stifling competition in a nutshell. Right, that the digital economy is not going to be able to flourish in Europe so long as these powerhouses have what they currently put in place. And just to be because, clear, Paul, that's that's the European Commission's view, not, not necessarily the view. Yeah, abs absolutely. <laughs> from the from the EU, absolutely. So a couple of things had occurred because this went into effect as of March of this year. So it is in effect, it forced a lot of major players in Europe, companies and so forth, to basically take note and take action. And that action was simply, you no longer could use the existing consent string that Google had offered. So let me break that down. If someone was had Google Analytics on your website, you need to understand what is being passed to Google and what was being done in the in the past was you would get consent or not get explicit consent but uh, implied consent and that notice or that consent string that was originally set up basically was just a single consent string the notice was sent over to Google Google took that consent to third-party cookies to mean we now can use your consent and apply it across all of our tool set. Uh, that's where the EU stepped in and said, no, you only got consent on that particular tracker. You did not get consent to use it in, in the uh, search, double click, right? All these ad platforms that Google had. So it forced Google to create a new string. So if you've been talking to and you're doing work in, in Europe and the marketing team is going, this is, you know, chaos, it somewhat is because all these things had to fundamentally not only technologically change, but obviously philosophically the world had fundamentally changed for the average marketer. So there's a lot of activity going there. The big takeaway here is if you're doing business with Google, something is changing. And it's not just a European thing, by the way. The Europeans are dealing with this DMA issue. In the United States, you're going to see a move away from what was focused on California's consent now to what is called the global privacy platform, or GPP, you're going to see more of a push in the back half of the year on the U.S. side of that. They're going to take Canada, the U.S., and push that to GPP and eventually have, including Europe down the road, everyone under GPP and having one consent string for Google. So a lot of activity there. The big takeaway is if you're doing business with Google, things have changed. You need to take action. And if you're in Europe, you need to take action now.